Good morning, it's Nick Petro with the National Weather Service in Raleigh with a quick video update that's valid from 10 a.m. this morning through about noon on Sunday, December the 9th, 2018. Here's a quick radar update and what we're going to do is use correlation coefficient as a way to see where the precipitation type changeovers are occurring. Now let me uh, go ahead and draw on here. This line represents where the changeover from snow to sleet is occurring. This line represents where the changeover from sleet to rain and freezing rain is occurring. So north of this upper line, it's all falling as snow. And in between, it's sleet. South of this line, it's falling as rain. And we can see in these observations here and uh, temperatures, you can see 34 in Wadesboro, 34 in Southern Pines. It's just hit 32 at Sanford, 34 at Smithfield, 34 in Goldsboro. Actually, it gets, it's up to, um, oh, it looks like 32 there near uh, Wilson Rocky Mount. So uh, what we're seeing here, and let me switch over to the uh, radar reflectivity, and that is definitely demonstrated by this enhanced reflectivity indicating the, where the sleet is falling. And north of that bright banding, we could see where the snow is occurring. So if you're along and north of Highway 85, that's where we've been advertising for days, it would stay snow the longest. You're going to continue to pile up additional snow, maybe a few more inches here, all the way over to Roanoke Rapids. So uh, from uh, north of Lewisburg over to Roanoke Rapids, even there's snow even occurring there. South of that area, it looks like that change over to rain has already occurred. Let me uh, clear this out so we can see. Um, and again, let me zoom in here so you can see um, it's already a well above freezing there down at Hamlet, Wadesboro, um, Southern Pines. Uh, Sanford may be seeing a touch of freezing rain, but that won't last long as it rises above 32. Smithfield's 34, and as we head over toward um, oh, uh, Wilson Rocky Mount, we're at 34. So you can see, again, the, 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 the issues here with any type of freezing rain or um, or sleet should largely be over uh, south of that line right there. All right, now it's possible that close to this line there could see a few transitions back to sleet at times, but for the most part south of that line, at least for the rest of this morning and into this afternoon, it looks like it's mostly rain. Again, north of this line right here, north of 85 and over toward Roanoke Rapids, you at least have a couple more hours of snow to go and maybe piling up a few more uh, inches of snow. And in between, there's going to be uh, a mix of snow and sleet and perhaps even a touch of freezing rain. Suffice it to say, we're still dealing with uh, treacherous road conditions and hazardous conditions outside. The, the, the only place really where it's uh, uh, pretty decent conditions road-wise and such is across the southeast part of the state where it's uh, well above freezing and little uh, snow has fallen. So that's your update here as of 10 o'clock from the National Weather Service Raleigh. And uh, be sure to check back with us uh, for future updates.